who's getting that 9 percent? Ami Agnik of the Congress Party, JVL Narasimha Rao of the BJP, Yashwan Deshmukh, uh, who is chief editor of C Voter, is doing his exit polls, and I'm happy to say that he's going to be with us on our poll of polls program. Uh, that's going to happen. Even Mr. Rao will be on Monday. And uh, <clears throat> finally today, Manisha Priyam, GVL Narasimha Rao, Yashwan Deshmukh and Yami Agnik. Thank you very much, all of you, for joining me. Yashwan, who's going to get the 9%? Let me start with you first. You've been doing a lot of polling. I know you can't reveal much now. Who's going to get the 9%? Why has there been the swing? What, what I can say is that uh, uh, generally it is said that high, high, high polling is anti-incumbent, but which has not been the case so far in the last three years, the election that we have seen in many states. Uh, I, I would presume that uh, it, though it's no rocket science to understand that Keshubhai Patel was there to damage the BJP and Narendra Modi in Swaraj region, but I think the high, uh, high turnout has somehow rescued uh, the BJP in Swaraj region. Rescued? Why would you say that? Because, because you see, uh, traditionally higher percentage of voters, Mr. Narasimha Rao, uh, by the way, besides his BJP hat, is also a number cruncher, a cephologist. You see, the higher percentage for voters in Gujarat hasn't always worked for a ruling party. There's nothing to say or prove that a high voter turnout goes to the BJP. Is there, Mr. Rao? Yes, you see, uh, in fact, uh, the, the, what is the relationship between uh, the turnout and the success for an incumbent government? Yes, you cannot yes. interpret the, you cannot generalize it in, in, in the context of every state. No, but, but in the context of this, Gujarat, this, yeah. the, in the context of Gujarat, the BJP has a much higher vote base compared to the Congress, and you have seen that in success, successive elections. In the last assembly elections, the gap between the BJP and Congress was close to 11 percentage points, 50 percent versus 39 percent. So for a party like the Congress, which has a low voter base, and for a party like uh, uh, Keshubhai's party, which is a caste-based party, they will do better only in a scenario where there is uh, a low voter uh, participation in elections. Uh, you have seen this happen repeatedly in uh, in states like Uttar Pradesh. Caste-based parties cannot do well in elections which have a very wide uh, voter participation. Given this, I think we believe it's uh, hugely advantageous for the BJP. In fact, I had written about this in two days ago, and I remember sending that also article to you. And it, uh, we, I, if there was one factor that we were really concerned about, I was particularly concerned about, was a uh, voting turn voter turnout being lower than what. It why, has why, why is that? Because, because then the same votes, actually it makes a lot of sense, Ami Agnik, the same votes, yeah. if it is split between three Anna, parties. Gujarat has been an aberration of no. sorts. Uh, Gujarat yeah. has been an aberration of sorts. Uh, in some, uh, in, in, we have seen in recent past, in last, I am talking about elections in the last 15 years, uh, uh, one particular election with very low turnout and BJP having swept the yes, state. Yes, yes. And one particular election with very high turnout, BJP having swept the state. So. Uh, I would say Gujarat has been an aberration. It's more about my observation is more, more has more to do uh, with the with the uh, index of enthusiasm as we call it. I mean, uh, the, where exactly the voter is coming out, and if there is a high anti-incumbency scale or high anti-incumbency sentiment, and uh, uh, that is uh, that if it is uh, if it is clear in in other studies or the pre polls or the other media reports, I would have said that okay, yes, it has worked in that way. But I. No, I in, in 2007, in no, there in, is a very uh, high level. Yeah. In 2007, actually, Congress should be very worried today. Because in because in 2007, Manisha Priya, yeah. the total voter turnout in phase one was little under 60 percent. BJP won 70 percent of the total seats. So if I extrapolate that and I put it in today's context, you know, then potentially the BJP is making some gains here which Yashwant is referring to as an index of enthusiasm in this election. Are you reading it the same way, Manisha? Uh, well, you don't really... An election is not a linear growth process. So you don't look at the gains of 2007 in a linear way, translating into something for 2012. But what is significant in the high turnout rates is that there is one result which is clearly out. The Congress is not in the race for these seats for Saurashtra. 
the only two contenders that are ah. being spoken about in the index of enthusiasm that Yashwant has made a mention of are the GPP and the BJP. So my question, a counterfactual to both JVL Narasimha Rao and Yashwant is that will Saurashtra stick its neck out and vote regionally for BAPA knowing very well that he is not going to be the chief minister because Keshubhai Patel is nowhere in the Purvi party. He is not even known in the tribal uh, voters that we are uh, interacting with. He is not known in the northern side. So is Saurashtra going to vote regionally? And, and on top what of is it, the electoral history of and that? And on top of so it, I Ami would think the... No, yeah, no, I let's get the Congress in. On top of it, Ami Agnik, a lot I, of people I, I feel, would, lot of people feel Ami Agnik, there is a tacit understanding between Congress and Keshubai. Isn't yes. it true? Keshubai is... No, no, there is one minute. Uh, there is one last point I want to much. Here. But uh, Arnav, GPP definitely would cause damage to the BJP because a lot of... Uh, no, votes only, would have only if the vote share remains the, same. In the, yes. No, no, only if the vote share remains same. Yes. But if you... No, no, if, only if the vote share remains same, you, then you, GPP will dent. dent. Not, if the, not if a substantial yes, part of the 9% extra votes is going to, to, uh, to Modi, yes. then the GPP will not make a dent. But it is resuming too much because if you see the voter turnout this time and if you see the, uh, as uh, Yashwant has said, the enthusiasm in index, apart from these two factors, if you see, you have to give credit to the Congress that uh, that can be even interpreted that all the issues that have been taken by the Congress at the Ami Agni, level. Ami Agni, and BJP the, performance uh, has, the do you agree? Do you agree? I'll bring this down to one point. In the, do you agree that BJP performance yes. is always better when turnouts are higher? Simple question to you. In Gujarat, Ami, definitely yes. In Gujarat. And it, it, it cannot be just given that kind of a 100% mandate. Well, I'm looking at data from the Election Commission the of India. Of, yes. No, yes, you are right. You are looking at the data. But you have to also... I am looking at election commission data. I can show you and explain it. In, in, increase. Yes, no, you are right. But I am also looking at other factors, you know, because this factors? time, in the last few years, post-2007, and the increase in the seats, you know, in the assembly seats in 2009, and if you see that there has not been some substantial work done by the BJP in that area, there is not going to be that kind of a voter turnout for BJP. No, and I... So the votes for the Congress are going to be there, and there is going to be an increase in the vote share. Well, I just show this particular graphic. I no, I, I'll, I'll just show this particular graphic. Yes, it's completely I, extrapolated from election commission data where I have looked at 
anyone against Keshu Bhai. What does this prove? There is a clear understanding between Everyone the Congress and the GPP. A, there has been a tacit understanding. Everyone so knows I, there is a sort of a match fixing that has happened. And uh, but except in Visavadar, where Keshubhai is in contention mainly because of uh, the withdrawal of uh, uh, Congress candidate. Otherwise, the GPP is not in contention anywhere in Saurashtra. The Congress has been banking heavily on uh, on the Keshubhai factor, wanting to and they were expecting him to damage exactly. the BJP and thought they can run away with laurels. Okay, uh, but then be, uh, the Congress has actually a lot of what, what, what is what is happening. Clearly, I'm completely short of time. But what is clearly happening is something unusual is happening in Gujarat. This election will be different in Gujarat. Does this mean a bigger margin for Modi or does it mean more people turning out for Keshubai? We'll wait for 20th. This debate continues, but clearly watch out for the Gujarat mandate. Something very interesting is going to happen this time. I'll see you again tomorrow, 9 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, only for tonight. Good night and goodbye.